Hi YouTube, this is Mark from Advanced Electronic and I'm testing out a hydrogen cell that I built. This is a 21 plate dry cell with a uh, high buffed acrylic outer plate. Uh, we have 21 plates. We have, there's four cells in here, positive plate on the outside over here, positive plate on the outside, two negatives and a positive plate on the inside here. Um, the cell is ice cold, it's been running for an hour so far. Um, this is really, really uh, like a perfect setup because even with the PWM, I'm getting less output with the PWM and uh, more current draw. This right now is getting exactly three liters per minute. I'm not sure if you can see the numbers on our flow meter. This is a professional oxygen flow meter from the hospital. And we are using a 55 amp MAPA battery charger to make this operate. I haven't had this kind of an output with any of my other cells. This is, uh, we're running distilled water. This is from Rite Aid. It's a uh, steam distilled water. And it has two tablespoons of potassium hydroxide in there. So one and a half liter bottle and it's about an inch from the top. But um, I conditioned it with uh, about 20 amps. I conditioned it higher than what it was supposed to. And when I came home today I put it in, connected it in reverse polarity with the negative on top uh, which would be the outer two plates and then I reversed it and noticed that it holds quite the charge and when I take the power off of it this unit goes for a long time. It just keeps going. Well, now it's not, but uh, when I had it the opposite polarity, it was going for at least 45 seconds all by itself, like it was holding its own charge like a battery. But um, now that uh, we're going to hook it back up and reverse and see what happens and see if it still holds that charge. But I mean, the cell is ice cold and the. Um, this is cold, the water is cold, nothing is heated up. I had it going for four hours last night and it wasn't even warm. So there's something good about this cell, it just came out right. The spacing is about an eighth of an inch on the plates and um, I'd have to uh, remeasure. I forgot what it was. There's an off number for the size of the plate, it wasn't, uh, it's not a standard number. I just had one plate that was one size so I just kept, you know, having had the rest cut that size. So anyway, thanks for watching my video.